Hey, I'm recording. Alright, folks. Here we are. All of us together, here we are. Even if you're not listening, or you're not hearing this all at the same time, it don't matter. We're all still here. This is Mr. X coming at you live from the Oregon coast, Coos Bay, putting that shit on the map. Up here, my boy Larry's Rockin' Larry Lockin's studio. Up here in the bedroom. Put a couple beers down. Trying to unwind for the night. So, uh, I thought I'd, uh, just bust it out, right? We're on the, we're gonna rock this on the Palladium Express, Light Grid, Larry Lock, Lockins, uh, Palladium Express, Micro Rocket Ship, <laughs> Light Grid, folks, coming at you. So, Mr. X, thought it'd come and... You know, just say hey to all the wonderful people out there. All of you. That means all of you. None of you are singled out. Every single one of you. You're all part of it. We're all part of this. You know, everybody wants to segregate, and chop it up, put everybody in different groups, and label it. But really, if you take your little fucking little brain cells and, I don't know, take those and put them to the side, and maybe take a look at things from a different view, a bigger, broader, wider view. And really just take a moment to just shut the fuck up and listen to your inner thoughts that's deep inside of yourself. You know, it's, uh, a lot of people call it just gathering your thoughts. Well, it takes time and you got to shut your fucking mouth. To sit there and gather your thoughts, you know? You want to run your mouth, blah, 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 but you can't shut up and fucking gather your thoughts to where you can take everything in from all the different angles and see it all for what it is from every angle at one time. And the majesty of that is, well, if you can, you already know, and if you can't, Hopefully, you will be able to know. We'll be able to go there and see it all. You know, everybody's so judgmental. Everybody comes and, oh, wants this, that. Everybody's got an opinion. But like assholes, we all got one. You know, this, you know I would like to come on here and bust some shit out. About this or that or some bullshit that has to do with some bullshit that is just a bunch of bullshit. Because all it is is a bunch of opinions, side of views, the way people see things, the way people view things. And out of the majority of all the people in the world, there's never going to be a fucking, uh, a fucking one way, you know, nobody's going to, it's... There's nothing ever going to be, everyone's going to be able to agree on. Do you understand? There's too many people, too many. But, but, fuck all that bullshit. 
All right. All these motherfuckers. Well, see, there I go. Being a judgmental fucking drunk little bitch. Being all judgmental. Calling people motherfuckers. <laughs> well, at least I'm not in denial, folks. <coughs> at any rate, you know, this world that we live in, Y'all need to take check and think about something. Best respect, take check. Best check yourself before you wreck yourself. Y'all have forgotten about all the everything that comes everything that is life. You know, life itself isn't about your opinion or my opinion or anybody's opinion or point of view or you know, if you wanted to go there, which I'm not going to go there, I'm going to I'm gonna go get away from all this negativity, which is, uh, you know, just uh, the opinion, the opinions and point of views and uh, different, you know, views and religions and uh, whatever you want to call it, you know, all the humanoid bullshit could just suck a dick tonight. Oh, yeah, you know. Oh, wait, uh, Mr. Larry Lockins is in the background in the studio tonight. Hey, I'm but, over the Light Grid studio part. Hey, everybody out there, Mr. X is rocking it. Hey. Yeah, Mr. X, yeah, before he was, you know, he had some really profound, you know. At any rate. Tell people you love him. At, at any rate, Larry's back here, back here on the microphone, too. So, uh, but uh, this, isn't, this isn't about who or what's where, or who, when, why, what, where. This is more about just... The broader fucking broadband of life. You know, oh, I love you all. <laughs> I love every single one of you. And I'm not going to do a goddamn thing that Larry says to, to, tells me to do in the background because this is me. This is me rocking the mic tonight. And I'm going to rock it right. And so, I guess that was negative. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Larry Lockins is trying to. your parents, you love them. My parents, I love my parents, I love everybody, you know, and, you know, what about, what about, how, hey, how about this, everybody, how about you take all your little issues, and your little fucking side of views, and your little opinions, opinion, and, you know, maybe you got some issues, you know, maybe there's something you don't disagree, or you don't agree with, or, you know, maybe there's some issues that, you know, you'd like to fucking spurt out of the side of your neck about, you know, because no matter what it is, I don't care, it doesn't matter if it's, um, free coffee in the morning, if somebody's going to be against it, there's always going to be somebody to argue with or go against, after all, you can't have nothing with, unless you break something down. You know, we all know that. There's two parts of everything. And you can't have one thing without the other part. You know, you can't... An airplane can't fly unless it pushes air. You know, uh, the ships... The cargo ships that run the trades in the world today... They couldn't float unless they push more water away than the boat weighs itself. It's called resistance. Uh, you have to, in order to go, you have to fight. You have to fight for your right to fucking party. And if you want to get anywhere, you're going to have to fight. So, again, uh, this is just Mr. X saying, I'm signing in. But I'm also telling you, you know, it ain't all goody, goody, goody in love and light, okay? Because I'm here to tell you, <laughs> it ain't nothing but a fight. And guarantee you, I'm sorry to tell you, Buster Bubble, maybe not. Uh, it's a fight. You know, you don't get nowhere unless you make it. You gotta work your way there. You want respect, you earn it. You want to make it somewhere, you you do what you gotta do to get there. 
So again, the whole the whole thing about resistance is, you know, fuck all the humanoid bull, fuck all the humanoid bullshit. And Larry's gonna interrupt. No, I'm not. I just want to make sure it was important to tell people that I want to interrupt because they need to go to make sure they're seeing their dentist. Okay, you're not even coming up on the microphone, so. Dentist to the doctor. Okay. So at any rate. Again, fuck all the issues and shit. Fuck all that. I think everybody just needs to chill. And shut the fuck up about dentists and teeth. Because none of that shit matters. None of it. Oh yeah, let's talk about teeth or dentists or smoking. Let's talk about tobacco. No, seriously. Seriously, uh, let's talk about it. Let's not talk about it. Do both. How about everybody just shut the fuck up and take their little opinions and their little fucking sideshow views and just put it all to the side? I mean, out of all due respect, I respect every single opinion that every single person has. Everything they have to say is worth saying. And worth hearing. I mean, after all, you know, it takes all kinds of people to make the world go around. Uh, well, I wish uh, people could just disconnect themselves from the world, from the people in the world, and the evil in the world, and just look at nature and look at the world for what it is and how beautiful it is. Think about all the sands on the beaches and the waves and the way the waves come up up on the shore. Just think about <laughs> all around the world, the tides, the tides are all the same. <laughs> around the whole world, all the beaches of the world. What about the grass? And what about the trees and the animals and the motherfucking outer space? What about that shit? What about the sunsets? I'm sure... I don't know, man. It's a pretty big world out there. You know, those of you that haven't been able to see a sunset on the ocean. I'm sure there's lots of you that have never even seen the ocean. But I'll give you a little peace of mind. Uh, it's the most beautiful thing you ever, ever could imagine. Just to watch the sunset go down over the ocean horizon. You know, we're so fortunate to live, me and Larry, you know, we kick it over here on the Oregon coast. We we get that fresh ocean air. You know, we got all these trees and rivers, and, you know, beaches. You know, we got the whole Oregon coast. We got sand dunes, and we get all that fresh, fresh life. And I just think about all the people out there that, you know, that they're just, I, I drove across the United States. Fuck. I drove to Virginia back before I was like 16. What, how old was I, Larry? I don't know. It don't matter how old I was. I drove, I was just a young kid. I drove across the United States. And when I got back in Oregon, I was, I was sure the fuck proud and happy I was home. Because there sure is a lot of wasteland out there. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what it'd like be like to not live by the ocean. You know, it seems like the water cleanses me, you know. When I wake up and I just know that there's no going that way. Because there's nothing but water. You know, there's only this way. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, um, I guess I was a fortunate young man to uh, be able to uh, hit the highways across the United States of America at a very young age. 
Uh, I guess I. Uh, uh, it, things were different over there. Yeah, yeah. I hit Charlottesville, and uh, I was chasing uh, fireflies and uh, little little alligators <laughs> or uh, crocodiles, whatever the fuck they were. They were like on the beach, you know, just chilling where they chill. <laughs> And I'd run up on them, and they they do about a four or five little leap. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I appreciate you, trying you to know. Some but anyways, fuck all the bullshit. I think everybody needs to just take a fucking chill pill and shut the fuck up. You know, all this fucking oh, I'm fucking enlightening, uh, awakening. Um, I'm fucking becoming. Uh, um. You know, what the fuck are you really after? Seems to me like everybody's after an answer or something. To something. But I'm not sure exactly what that answer is. But it, but it sure does seem to me like... What I'm hearing out here is just a bunch of people that are... I don't know, I guess you could say spiritually seeking after spiritual something. Something that they could claim. Anyways, I was talking to the microphone, not Larry Lockins. But Larry, oh, I guess Larry Lockins. Simon, they want everybody to give the answers to them, dude. They're oh, they're looking, they're looking. They need to go within. You fucking looking for everybody else to give you the answer. Oh, you know, it's it's. it's oh. Okay. okay, so yeah, that and what Larry just said is uh, the basics of the foundation of the whole universe. <laughs> and I just thought I'd let you in on that little secret. <laughs> the, uh, the cosmic flow that fucking winds down through the tunnels of love backwards, upside down, and a little bit sideways at the same time in only one dimension at a time simultaneously combustionally and tri-dimensionally parallel-less to the surface of the Perdameron field. Now, those of you that are following me, you know where I'm at. Now, we all know this to be so therefore it is so I'm going to go on with the fucking parallel fucking universe dimensional fucking light field force field atmosphere is resolutional minimal standard wider logic fucking a little C720 control preference because the 1250 uh, and the 1022 they're not the same and they never will be and those videos, the motion videos, the photos, all that content, I'm sorry. But all that bullshit is, here, 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 let me, let me, let me just give, this, give you an example, okay? I'm going to give you an example of uh, the, the bullshit that I call bullshit, okay? Okay, here I go. Now, everything... That is, is, and it came from nothing. But everything was made from nothing. So therefore, all of a sudden, everything became something. And boom, ping, pow. No, we're not talking the Big Bang Theory. Something happened, and then there was the whole universe and everything that is all, all known. Which is more than just what we know in this life. It's all the millions and millions and trillions of different dimensional levels and uh, fields and grids and multiple uh, crossroads and connections that intertwine through eternity, which there's uh, you can't put a number on how many different ways that there is. It's it's more than legion. It's it's uh, the multitude is what it is. 
the multitude of multiplying the multitude by multitude is every which direction for infinity. So there you go. So here's my little example of it. Just because I'm kicking it, having a good time, you know, busting the shit out on the microphone up here. My boy Larry's fucking kicking a pad up here on our because all right, here we go. One, two, one, two. All right. Hang on a second. I gotta drink I gotta take a drink of this beer again. We're putting the beers down. <coughs> oh, I love that relaxing music. It really puts things into perspective. <sighs> All right. I've just got to say that, you know, all this, the consciousness flow of the bullshit is nothing. It don't mean nothing. It ain't nothing. In fact, it's just a bunch of, bunch of fucked up words that don't even go together. That are, you know, there's, you're just trying to put words together that don't even go together. You know, I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, anything that your brain can come up with that doesn't make sense is going to be the exact substance of what I'm talking about. And that is bullshit. So, you know, I'm really, you know, it's... I, I'm such a positive person. I, I am so positive, such a positive person. Yes, you are. That there's really absolutely nothing that can um, uh, take this into a ne negative direction. But I do got to say, um, you, you know, you're only doing it to yourself. You know, you, you sound like a fucking uh, fool. You know, like you're just, you know, um, you know, the rep, the, the, the repsilian uh, technotoid. Force field to the uh, rectum fucking field by the matrix is only going to impact the light grid, which is the rainbow grid that we see. Coming to the colors, through the colors, this is the actual substance that is the outer layer of the outer realm, which contains the actual substance, which we do not know what is we do not know what the substance is but we do know the outer containment it's like an eggshell we do know that layer that contains that whatever it is we're not sure so when you're uh, coming at the turn at the apex uh, of the interdimensional twilight zone <laughs> you know what save all that bullshit for your fucking mama because, you know, and when somebody asks you something, try, when somebody else is sitting there going, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, I can totally get it. I think you need to shut the fuck up and, um, you know, listen to yourselves. Because you sound like fucking idiots. You know, I mean, really. You know, all these words, you know, I don't care. Look up some of the words. Some of the words that resonate. Does that resonate with you? I hope it resonates with everybody. I hope you're feeling it. <laughs> Larry, hit me up with some slang. That's the spirit. Yeah, is that the spirit? <laughs> am I am I fluently speaking in the spirit you of the? Well, at any rate, I'm just gonna dump that all that because I'm not I'm not pointing I'm not talking shit about you, and I'm not saying you're right or wrong. I'm not saying anybody's right or wrong at all, actually, because it doesn't matter if it really doesn't matter if anybody's right or wrong anymore. Mr. X got a text message. <laughs> well, I think people just need to appreciate the fact that they're still fucking alive. Period. Uh, uh did totally. You know, if you're uh. You know, you're sitting there with your kid, your children. You need to be a happy motherfucker. You understand? 
You need to take what you have and fucking learn to love it. Because you wouldn't be shit and you'd be hating life without it. All you people out there that have parents, mother, father, even sisters, brothers, all your whole family, you know, be thankful for your family. You know, it's it's pretty wild world we live in, but uh, you know, some there ain't no nothing like an enemy besides your family. But uh, uh hey, that's why a man made beer It's because we're all fucked up in a little bit in our own ways. But uh, I do gotta say one thing. It ain't going to be your friend or your enemy that's going to get you. It'll be your family. But you better be thankful those motherfuckers are around because one day they're not going to be. And, uh, you know, you just need to be thankful for the way life is as it is right now. You understand? You know, fuck all the controversy, all the bullshit, all of this, that. Fuck the presidency. Fuck political bullshit. Fuck the world. Fuck... Fuck rather you think this or they think that. Y'all can fucking just, you know, take that shit, put it back on your back burner, and just leave it alone for now. What I want y'all to do is just take a deep breath and just let it all go. Just let it all go. All of it. All of it. I don't give a fuck what. I don't even care if it's. Just let it go to where you're not doing even a word, no words, not even a syllable. Just inhale and exhale and just let it all go. You know, you think about it. You take a look at the world. You look at the oceans and the trees and the animals and nature. The mountains. You know, what about all this? You know, it's just uh, the stars. What about the air that we breathe? What about our children? I'm sure most of you have had children. And most all of you have held your newborn baby in your hands. Now, I don't give a fuck who you are. When you hold a newborn baby in your hands and you look into that, those little eyeballs, that's, that's the feeling. That's the know. That's when you know that everybody is special in every way. Because all of us, every single fucking one of us, was that little baby. Precious in every fucking way possible. Beautiful, mind-boggling. Little hands, little feet, <laughs> little eyeballs, you know. That was us. So, uh, all of the opinions and all the fucking uh, bullshit... <laughs> Y'all can sign up for 1-800-SUCK-THE-X-MAN'S DICK and follow his fucking nuts. If you want to squabble about something, let's fight over my balls because <laughs> it ain't nothing else worth oh, that, oh, that's not so special. You're right. It's not. I'm not here to be special with Mr. Mr. Rock and Larry Hawkins. This is the X-Man coming at you live. I'm the, I'm the most specialist person. We're all the most specialist person. People. All of us. You know, if anybody wanted to do anything, or be any kind of positive, uh, uh, you know, to, do, to make a difference in the world, all they would have to do is what I'm about to. All they'd have to do is speak the fuck up. And say something like this. You want to make a difference in the world today? You want a little piece of the action? How about this? Got special. Oh, uh, how, about, how about Larry just bust in here and break it on down for me? Okay? So anyways, I, I'd say I'm pretty sure, oh, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, pretty positive that, uh, you know, not all of us can uh, focus on everything at once, you know. The ice, you know, <laughs> uh, the grand, the grand 
big picture of all things, but, uh, I guess since everything, you know, uh, well, I guess this is just my opinion, but, uh, you know, I guess since things are going to hell in a handbasket, not really, but sort of, <laughs> uh, why don't you grab your picnic baskets and uh, have a little picnic while, uh, while you watch it off the dam, because guess what? All of us that arrived today, I, I'm pretty sure, I don't know, just my opinion, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're living in the last days. Well, thank God, hopefully we are. Anyways, if we do get to see it all go down, then I guess we're lucky, pretty lucky motherfuckers, you know. And thank, I, I guess, uh, thank somebody for something fucking putting us here to swear we can see it all go down. You know, Mr. X, you are. At any rate. Uh, we've got, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this, I'm going to cut this off short because, uh, I'm having some interruptions and stuff. Uh, you know, I'm getting some side play from the you know, distractions of the world. But, uh, yeah. And, uh, I'm going to break this shit off, I guess, tonight. With, uh, if, uh, you want to make a difference, I'm sure every one of us knows somebody that's in a domestic violence situation. There's somebody that we know, I mean, you know, or somebody you know, that's in a relationship that's fucked up. You know, if they're not, if it's not a violent, physical, if it's not physically violent, if your man ain't hitting you, or you ain't hitting your man, or throwing shit around the fucking house, you know, then uh, I can guarantee you that uh, probably 75% of you, I don't know, I, I'd say 60 I don't know. I've, I've met a lot of good guys. I, I know some people that really get along. So I, I give it about 65% of the people out there that are in relationships. Um, you know, when you're in love, you know, that's that's a pretty powerful thing. You know, uh, you know, but uh, it's hard to give up and turn. But don't ever forget that there's there is greener grass. Uh, on the other side, and there is somebody that will love you uh, for what you are and what the way you deserve to be loved. Um, you know, so I'm I'm just going here out of out of the tr uh, off the top of my head. You know, let's just say you want to make the world a better place. Uh, speak up, stand up, get up, shout up, say something, do something. Because I know, I know for a fact that there's somebody in a bad, fucked up situation. One of your friends, one of your co-workers, maybe even you, at work. You know, getting played by your boss, you know. Y'all, y'all know all the works of the word, the world. You know all the games that get played. You know, all the games that you're playing. All the games that get played. Why don't you guys just, uh, you know, instead of just letting it go on, you're just as guilty. Why don't y'all just, uh, why don't y'all just, uh, say something about it, you know? Ain't nobody gonna do nothing, you know? Unless you like watching your friend, best friend fight and stuff, you know, get beat up by her old man or, or vice versa. You know, unless you enjoy the squabble. You know, maybe you could make the world a better place and just say something. Call the cops. Do something. You know, and if you're in a bad relationship, just get the fuck out. If you're not happy, get the fuck out. You know, I go to Walmart. I go to Walmart, and I see all these couples, and they look like they're about ready to fucking kill each other, man. I mean, it's just fucking. Yep. And I'm like, what? Hey, you know what? Do something, speak up, make a difference in the world, no matter how small it is. Yeah. Hell, go to your local Walmart and just start a big riot. Do it for the children. 
We're Anyways, this is Mr. X coming at you live. Um, I hope y'all get a peace of mind tonight. That uh, I love you all and fuck all your little discussions, all your little stupid fucking shows, all your little talks about this or that, or I'm coming to this or that and fucking da la di da di da. Because really, when it all really boils down to, there's only one. I, 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 here, I'll do you all a favor. And I'm going to fucking have to tell you, there's more controversy in this one word that I'm going to use. I'm going to use one word to sum it all up. And there's more hate and controversial bullshit and power in this one word that I'm going to use to sum all of everybody, every discussion, every, every angle of every scientific fact about this world, our universe, us, every, every conversation that ever was. There's only one answer to it all. And um, I hope every single one of you that are going to hate me for using this word, hate me for real. Because I love haters. Oh yes, come at me with the death threats. Matter of fact, I don't even, you know what? I don't even have to say the word, and I'm not going to. Actually, I am. Jesus Christ. Christ. Okay, Christ. Cool. Christ is the answer. Oh, I knew it was a CNT. I but anyways, um, yeah, the CNT word, a lot of us can't even say the word, but it's okay. Christ. It's okay. I love all of you. Just remember, Christ loved you first. All right. Mr. X signing out. I, I don't have anything else to say. Fuck the animals. The, the animals are all wonderful. We all, you know, it's too bad that a lot of us, you know, we can't take take in the, the trees and the age and all the time that it took. The majesty of the creation that we live in today. You know, you need to wake the fuck up. And, you know, instead of fucking run your chops. Or you would have a thought, period. You need to think the creator that you're even alive, period. First. Mr. X. So, Mr. X isn't taking answers tonight. Fucking hold the press. I know you're a robot. No, I got the pulpit tonight and I'm done with it. What do you think of Pat Robertson? Pat Robertson is a Christianic bullshit, mainstream bullshit. Even the word, any any language, even any word is all bullshit. You know, everybody needs to go back to when they were naked in the fucking wilderness by the fucking with the animals. Goddamn you know, let's see you rub some sticks together and make a fire and fucking huddle up and fucking just be comfortable. And just shut the fuck up before, you know. At any rate. I, I've said enough, you know. Y'all catch my, y'all catch my drift. I'm gonna leave it in third gear because, you know, that's about how it is. So I'll uh, give a shout out to fucking my homeboy Larry here, Rocket Larry, fucking locking on the microphone up here at the Palladium and Express Light Grid never has Studio, who never has an opinion, has never fucking had any any anything to say about anything. Uh, the guy really. Doesn't have any question. He's not a questionable guy. And, um, you know, fucking shame on you if you go against the grain there, people. No. Larry's, Larry's, a, Larry's a good guy, and he just, he, he loves you all. He does. He's, he's a good guy. And so are all of you. At any rate, take the love and shove it up your ass, because guess what? When you come to the door and to take our guns, it's going to be a fucking, it ain't going to be a, here's our guns. You're going to bend over and fucking take some lead, bitch. So, at any time y'all want to come New World Order fashion motherfucking the lizard fucking reptiloid fucking tilloid fucking New World Order Illuminati fucking bullshit want to come take our guns? Fucking, uh, if you make it through Texas and you hit Oregon, well, I'll see you on the front lines. All right, everybody. Have a good night. Bye.